Welcome back to the North Star Ball podcast card review um, or preview in this case for Giant Force Blue has been revealed via someone's the YouTube channel, the Cybermen's YouTube channel. Um, we saw a preview where we got to see like the Bardock and we're getting Bardock's crew and this confirms it. We have so many great apes in this set. Like so many great apes in this in blue. Um, I'm really excited to see kind of how this goes. Bardock's crew is always a really underappreciated color uh, archetype. Um, so let's just get into it. Yo, it's me, Dom. And Back I'm Dane. Again. And Dane. It's the boys. Um, the boys. You know, we'll update our photos eventually. That's like low priority. It's COVID. I have a beard now. No one goes outside. No one takes photo because no one's having that much fun. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, no um, loud. chilled. Because Bardock. There's only I three guess. cards. Well, so here's something that I realized. Uh, did you happen to think about how these cards could just be played in chilled? Because chilled tokens are skillless and are 10k and oh man if only there was some unison that allowed you to plus your skillless cards by 5k Holy oh crap yeah i realized that before the call started and i was gonna save it for this moment to bombard you Holy. that chilled blue yellow has a shot <laughs> holy crap why do you do this to me dane I, like wow Okay. Blowing minds here today. Okay. Uh, pirate guard Toby. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess you just say both pirate guards. They both do the same thing, the same auto when they're KO'd, play a shield token with 10k power, once a counter is, attack, you... once a counter play for three or less. It's okay. In draft, 10k is really good early game, like the 10k skill is because they threaten damage. And against certain giant force unisons, they'll be good. Mm. But realistically, I just think they'll be used in draft because they are counterplays and counterattacks that are bodies. And that generally, if you're val if you're gaining value while stopping your opponent from gaining value in sealed, that's the way that you win. Yeah. It's so only, only like crappy part with the shield Kabira, Kabira is so good. Preventing your opponent from you playing something that they're playing, especially if they're going into turn three and they want to play like a 30k skillless or something. And then you establish your own body. Whew. Pretty good. That replaces itself. Yeah. Because KO is going to uh, be more I, prevalent. Like board the control. issue with chill tokens is that they don't have combo power. Yeah, that's what I was going to say earlier. They don't got combo power. They do get combo power, I think, with one of the chill cards in yellow. I think. Yeah, you can, like, you can like discard one. You can discard them to give your leader like 5k. I think that was the card, or they just like it buffs them or something. It was like a the shield super rare or something. But yeah, no, I think you're right. A chilled token deck might be a thing. Yellow blue. Who knows? Maybe. I know our local friend Bergy is all hyped for blue skillers, so maybe he'll work on it. He has the energy for it. Yeah, okay, so here's what it is. It's the set two rare chilled. It's five drop. Uh, all your chilled army tokens can be comboed in rest mode, even in rest mode, because that was when they were still adding unnecessary words. They gain combo cost zero and 5k combo power. Uh, switch a chilled army token to rest. This card gains triple strike. The issue no. is that you have to play it for five. How, how much specific yellow? Uh, two. Not that much. That's really like that's doable in blue yellow, because defense. Sure, um, but you need to remember that this is set two before both barrier and deflect existed. Good point. We will so. see. Chilled support maybe. I like it. Uh, chilled <laughs> also. If we talk about chilled for now, he is part of that. We we are pretty much confirming there is a cycle of super rares that work with skillless of that color. And that was the Nimbus Goku last uh, video in red. Yep. And then we have the higher dragon in yellow. Oh, so, was, it, was it the same thing? 
Uh, no, they don't do the same thing. They just all have to do with skillless cards. I think the higher dragon is basically one. no. The higher dragon is it, dude? Because it's when you combo with it, pay a yellow, play two skillless, two yellow skillless from your deck. Different names. That's uh the rare, right? No, it's a super rare. A it's got like circles. Yeah, it's a super drag, super rare higher dragon. I promise. Yeah, I'm losing. Uh, but this chilled is like definitely the best one, like without a doubt. For one, you can play it for free as a 19k by just dropping an additional, which is pretty doable. Oh, um, you're right. I'm thinking set 11 higher dragon, not the slug no. saga. My bad, guys. So this card's pretty good. Um, and then it's when it deals damage or removes a marker, you can play a 30k for just like literally one energy, which is great. Uh, being able to play certain ones might have use in the future. There's a blue Majin Buu, which is a good name to have. Bardock, which we'll get to um, later in the video. Ooh, Eventually, I feel like one day. There's, there's like any time you can play stuff that's that big for free, sitting pretty. Um, but Dane, the ideal is that you probably want to attack 15k unisons with this or 20k and dump a card. But Dane, yes, Dom. You can play bubbles. You could play bubbles, or you, you could win the game. No, 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 no. Bubbles is gone. But you could just play bubbles for one anyway. Correct. <laughs> so, uh, card, card, card pretty good. Card's pretty good. All right, we ready uh, for some monkey business? Yes, sir. Ha, JK, we don't got that yet. Uh, it's just a hodgepodge of stuff. Uh, there's a Tulu. Makes sense. Or too low. It might be too low. Uh, Vanilla Napa. Oh, too low. I think it's too low. You're right. It might be too low. Uh, Napa, Vanilla. Tolo. It's Tolo. Tolo. Tolo the Truth Seer, right? Yeah. I don't know. Napa, Vanilla, but that's Napa Adolescence, which matters for the the Carver evolved part right, right there. We'll get to in a second. Uh, Vegeta Young Elite, I think is pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, like it. It lets you kind of clear a battle card, so you can swing twice and clear a battle card for one life. It's just a little hefty. If it was a one drop five k and it gained ten, that'd probably be better. Um, but in sealed, it's great. Yeah, he can. Literally, literally, kill clear three cards. Assuming, assuming that the great ape has the same effect on the backside as it does on, as or the same effect as the Vegeta and Zena, where it's like crit on the front and then draw a card on the back. Because the faster you flip over in sealed, the way better off you're going to be. Do not care about the crit at all. <laughs> Drawing cards is way more important. Uh, Cyberman Infinite Swarm. Uh, I, I think it's kind of bad. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, so we don't know what a Cyberman token has done yet. This is the first time we've seen it. Um, I presume that in the next set, where we believe we're supposed to be getting Nappa support. Nope, that's uh, the, set, the set Evolution 13. Booster. Evolution Booster. Yep, they uh, confirm Nappa, a Nappa Cyberman. Cyberman deck. It is safe to assume that Nappa and Cyberman will make an appearance in blue then. Um, Maybe. Yeah. Cause, but this card really doesn't do anything. Yeah, you plus one to play a Cyberman token, which is a 5k 5k combo. And then you minus one is to remove a token and kill a 2k or less. Well, we put a 2k or less, your opponent controls to the bottom of the deck. But, and it's a 10k for... Like, if this was a one-drop unison, one drop, that'd it could be, be pretty cool, but, like, it's not. So... <laughs> Um, tokens are scaleless. so you have to like Question you have mark? to spit the same turn you could play Zeno you have to play this the same turn you could play the Great Ape Unison you have to put you could play this like will you'll play it in if you pull this card in sealed please play this card guys value it's 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 a zero five k every single turn <laughs> like please play this card if you get it in sealed and you're like running blue but in general probably don't want to play this card until set or until the evolution poster right and that's even if 
map was going to be blue because that's that would be weird to have the unison be the same saga as its thing but whatever uh napa promising youth napa getting some love like instead of just being a one-off it's a really cool i like the art a lot i think full art this card is going to look really good Double Strike evolves off. The only target for it is that vanilla 2-drop 20k Nappa. That, that's okay. And then if you evolve it, um, you can evolve it from your energy, which is going to be the whole theme of this set of blue cards, which they finally updated on the rulebook. Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. Mostly. They don't say what happens if you don't... If like it gets negated, but if it gets negated, Nappa just doesn't come on the board. The vanilla. It just yeah, I mean, at. this card attacks. Activate the skill. You can switch a blue energy to act at the end of your turn. Pretty good. Um, so he's basically in general, free. I I think this card is just like a four of in blue is not a terrible idea, especially if you're doing like mid range blue, because uh, it it kind of has the same feeling as the Goku Black from set 10 where it's just like if you just throw four of these in there it can evolve on itself throw one in your energy and then anytime you see it for the rest of the game you have access to a one energy like you, one energy slash you lose the energy 20k double strike pretty good yeah fair cool especially in field this card's going to be really good 20k is a really good and then you evolve on it to make it a 20k double strike gross all right, uh, monkey business time. We'll start with King Vegeta, because, you know, he's the king, so he goes first. Uh, he's a super rare. I'm not sure this card is very good. He has that effect yeah. of returning a unison to your hand, which I still think has potential. It's, I just think it's the weakest, probably. It probably is, but it depends on what more unisons get on play effects. Reusing right now, the Super like... Saiyan 4 Goku, if it wasn't already yeah, super you, expensive. You gotta think, yeah, I was going to say, but it costs like five, and so you have to spend three to bounce it back and play it. So. Right. Tough. But the second auto is basically the Janemba leader skill. Yep. Not too bad. It it it'll come in clutch because it's not a it's not a counter then it's not a negate. Well, it's a negate, but it's not a counter and it has auto timing, so they'll do all their mm -hmm. autos first and then then you can choose. Yeah. Um. It's funny King that Vegeta. we go from super rare evolve onto a common, but then again yeah. you can pick itself from the energy. So. Uh, again, triple strike. This time it's a 110k. Uh, and then when you play it, you bounce one of your opponent's battle cards. I think it's just going to be a generic finisher. Try to put two of these in your deck and for three blue, play a 25k triple striker. Not bad. That's how you That's how you win games. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Borgos. Borgos. Uh, uh, Dane, don't look. Don't look, Dane. Duh. Don't look. It's uh, it's my all over. And of course, it's Bargos. If everyone remembers Bargos being the first one to come out for that cycle of cantrips, and then if your opponent re hands energy, those cards pop are it. still good. But that's only those for right, 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 right. No, but no one like plays them. That's only for offensive uh, untapping, and we move beyond that now. Oh, oh yeah. If only yeah. there wasn't some sort of tier one or near tier one blue deck that offensively untapped. Man, crazy. Yeah, but that's through leader skill. No, but it's only non awakened skill. That's the that's was the text it? on the other one. Yeah. Because when you're playing because when I was playing Golden Frieza, you have to remove them. Autos yeah. and activate veins still yeah. Oh anyway. Um yeah, uh, evolving. I think it'd be just be best to look at our uh red video plug. Uh Look at my watch Dane rant about it. Um, it's a cycle, so we'll see how it, we'll, we'll we'll have to see. 
I, I respect a lot of people's opinions, but then I read that they think that these cards aren't good. Oh, they're that good. You can just I agree really play good. around them. Now, maybe, you know, we all made a really big stink of the Cunnings when they started getting printed, but I think these cards just do so much more than the Cunnings ever could. <laughs> well, the Cunnings were also offensive only. Everything was off. This is the first defense on tap hate. Outside of Bojack, because Bojack is Bojack. Um, but, well, let's just let's just talk about the great yeah, ape. Yeah, the ape. You all he has barrier. A barrier. Any blue Borgo, so you can use the Burnished Bonds Borgo. So I've, I've looked it up. Um, it, evolve from energy, like all the other apes will. So the act of battle is pretty interesting. Because you can restand the five drop Bardock that we had before, Final Strike. Yep, the Chaos, uh, the Clash of Fates SR that if you restand, you warp when your opponents put cards in their hand. Yep, they They're warp pretty one. Good. But the negating the skill, that the... card's skill for the turn, is a little weird. Because then you would like lose any double strikes you might have given it with Taurus Red Armband or. Uh, like anything else, you can't then give it another double strike with a Champa. Right. I so. think the idea is you resand one of your blockers for your turn, and then it's into your opponent's turn, it has blocker again. And then you can on activate battle defensively resand the Bardock. His auto will still trigger because it restood. And then it's all timing. It doesn't say negate the skill, then activate, switch to active. The auto is already mm -hmm. pending. Um, and then he can't be attacked. So yeah, not bad. So he can't be attacked, and he get his effect off, then kill their hand. Cool. Uh, Shugesh. Shugs. He's actually just a good. really. It's just a really good in in sealed. It's a really good card. Drawing a card for fifteen k, even if you combo away that card every turn to keep him alive on like a leader swing or something or an opponent's battle card swing, you're still ahead on value. So, just think, good. Isn't he still pretty good in, like, um, Dende Shenron? I mean, sure, but there's just so many good two-drops you can play these days that, like... Font the life, him, and he attacks, draw. You can... Yeah. Um, assemble the squad. Yeah, but again, that's then you still just go even, because then it probably dies the next turn. Probably. So, uh, uh, but ape. the ape is vital. This card is the unfortunate truth is that you're probably going to have to play one or two of the Shugesh, the other Shugesh, to get the Great Ape Assault, because this card is basically the way that Bardock's crew is actually going to be able to link with the old Bardock's crew stuff. Are you uh, saying stuff. Shugesh is causing problems again? It's not causing problems because it negates the card skill for the turn, which is actually kind of trash. This card should not negate Final Strike Bardock's skill. But they're trying to prevent you from using the other Great Ape Bardock for free. That's fair. But this one is great because it allows you to play Final Strike Bardock for not five energy, oh, thankfully. Thank, thank God. But it still just dies to Frieza because now it doesn't have barrier. So that was silly. Way to go on that one, did I? Should not have negated skills. Yeah, but we'll see. Uh, this definitely opens up the old uh, Clash Face product deck a lot. The old strategy <laughs> while mixing in this new one. Like, it's really it's really nice. Uh, Fasha Bardock's crewmate. She bursts, which is what the old one wanted. The old uh, Clash Face leader. So you need a Sparking 5 to either the backside of right? Sparking 5 for the backside, and also you want a Bardock's crew member in your drop to get a lot of your effects. Gotcha. Um, you can like add two life to your hand, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> One energy self awakener. Um, for Bardock, I don't like because it's a Fasha. You'll probably play it over Vegeta. It just wouldn't, in general, be a, be better. But it is right. because it's a Fasha and has Bardock crew. I wish um, instead, though, that there's a way to 
awaken the old Bardock faster. That's why you can use his negate more. Because his negate is auto crit. I think I think it's crit a life and it's, negate the it's, attack. Yeah, place one and drop negate. The real issue though is that it doesn't flip over, it just awakens, which means you're at four, which means you don't want to Yep, exactly. So but you, what you want is to be able to flip over, but then it becomes like a little too strong if you can just negate any big attack. If it could so we'll get like five, that'd be cool. That would probably have been fine. Yeah. Um, it's the crit ape. It's twenty k for th- like even just playing it for three with crit as a twenty k and sealed is pretty good. Um, but then you could potentially just play it for one. Uh. It's. I think it's really good because it replaces itself in the energy as well. Yep. I think that's really important because a lot of the times that's just not how it ends up working. Like... Yeah, I remember your uh, Zamasu deck when you evolve, all of your, like... You do, like, your sometimes big play. Sometimes you, you, you could lose, like, a lot of energy really quickly if you don't replace it. Which is, like, they have to keep it balanced by having some of them replaced and some not. But... I think this is actually probably one where it would be better not to. I think the offensive should punch, and the defensive ones should let you reestablish the energy. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Because basically, there's no, there's no punish to getting a twenty k double striker for one energy, which is so good. <laughs> or not a double, it's not a tw- right. double crit, um, but like a twenty k crit for one energy, especially in sealed, is really good like nearing broken like that card should just probably win you the game if you can get it off for a turn they're all zero five k's wait these apes are zero five k's what is this except for king but that's is that a first i think generally yeah not not 100 uh, first but generally a first yeah uh Hora. that art makes them look right. like a let's see look thin yeah um Bardock's crewmate. It's you like can, Zarbon. The yellow Zarbon. But only, but only for Bardock's crew, which is like... It was, Bardock's crew may end up being blue-yellow, so like it might be fine to just play Zarbon to have access to restanding your other apes. Um, but it just kind of depends on what we end up believing is best for this. Uh, we'll see, because it's obviously a Bardock's crew, so you could burst it. Yeah. And then uh, uh, resetting the, the Clash of Fates is good too. This one evolves for two, and it's a blocker. Um, but at the end of the turn, you automatically switch to Bre- uh, active mode, which is really good in sealed. And then in uh, constructed, I don't know if that really matters because you're already going to be playing Planet Vegeta to search anything you need, and then in blue yellow. Uh, if you're mono, yeah. In- in blue yellow and then you'll also resand all your great apes anyway so um and then if it's ko'd by your opponent's skill you get to place in the drop which is really the unique wording i think this is the first time that we've seen ko'd by a skill there's like remove from battle area by skill yeah and there's KO'd, KO'd. Yeah. but this is the first time that it's like specifying if it's ko'd by a skill not just if it like dies by blocking then it goes away so if it's like minus or it's sent to warp or re- return to hand or bottom deck, it doesn't get this effect. But if it's KO'd by a skill, so against green, um, green and red against some, uh, no, not the minus uh, some, of red. Yeah, red does a lot more minusing. There's still some like transcendence, right? There's so. still every every color has some KO aside from like blue. Really, just has nothing to KO. But um, yeah. Interesting. Neat. Bardock. The man, the myth, this, the legend. This is where this is where the stuff is. Really cool that the 30k is a Bardock. I'm a big fan of that. Um, yep. good name as of now. So uh this two drop should not be taken lightly. This card is quite good. Cannot be played by a skill, so you have to hard cast it. I think Winters. The ruling, because if you're going to evolve this from the energy, that puts it in play, but it, there's no like play effects, so I don't think it actually really puts it in play. So I think that gets around that. 
I'm pretty sure. Because this, even if it doesn't, I think it's just really good that it's a two energy fifteen k. It's it has the same premise as the Vegeta leader, where if they're going to deal with it, you get to ramp. By a skill, optional ramp. Yeah, right. So like, yeah. Well, if it's oh, it is only if it's KO'd by a skill. Yeah. Never mind. This card is not as good as I thought. Yeah. Still, though, in sealed, it's 215k, I guess. It's nice. And it makes your opponent kind of have to deal with it in other means. Most importantly, if you pull the other card in sealed, you have more targets. Uh, Bardock, Great Ape Assault. We already talked about it in the other one, but I think this is pretty worth talking about just because it's it's honestly like the other best card in the draft box so far with the uh, Piccolo. Oh, yeah. Just two energy you evolve on a blue bardock with two or more cost i don't think we have a one drop bardock right now that's blue but nope i I don't know i guess they're trying to future proof maybe um you can evolve off your energy like all the others and then this card just has so much text in the other part blue saiyan lead you draw a card you switch to active mode and you ramp a card into your energy um if you're evolving off of the energy which you're basically always going to do because it lets right. you play it for two rather than for like five or four. So after seeing all the apes, I think this is why I think it'll be mono blue instead of a mix because they all evolve from energy from a blue of that character mm-hmm. instead of a yellow or just any of that character. I mean, we'll see. Most of the good stuff is blue anyway, but you might just run blue-yellow solely for, like, Planet Vegeta, good blue-yellow stuff, um, and then I guess that's kind of it, to be honest with you. Because I still don't know, because you don't want to... I guess you, you'll be bursting, so you could do the God Energy again. But, like, you don't want to be charging blue-yellow for a certain, because you literally could just, like... Charge of blue and evolve. No, you, you don't. You don't do that though, because on turn one you play the one drop Fasha or a one drop Orgos, and then on turn two you have the new Fast Land Bardock. Oh yeah, should we talk about that? Is that next? That's this should be next. Yeah. No, it's, it's extra cards. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's next, 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 next. Um, but that's my argument for being mono blue. Maybe we'll both make a build and see how it goes. Um, intersecting fates this card has been known to be pretty good i mean the real issue with it is that it still is an extra card in your deck so if you're going into your opponent's turn and you didn't get to use this card a super combo or off of your life yikes it's just kind of bad but like as a one or two of just to like deck thinning is deck winning card's pretty great like it's just hard to deny that Yep, no argument. Downfall of Pride. I have to reread this one. This one didn't stick out to me at all. Honestly, this card is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, You can bottom deck a 5-drop and then pick up a unison out of your drop. So you can replace itself and bottom deck something for 2. Which is not bad. Uh, okay. It's not great. But it's not bad. Activate um, main. If it was battle, oof. But that, yeah. it, it makes more sense to be a main. Flame bullet. Flame bullet. Negate the attack. Choose one of your mono blue battle cards. Switch active mode. So it's this fine, is... But the, here's the issue is that they also printed internal energy shift in the last draft box. Yeah, I was about to say that card pretty good. Which is Whis Coercion with likely not guaranteed but likely flame bullet built in yeah but but dame so... there's, there's these cycle of cards that came out that if you use a counter and recent energy yeah lose. yeah yeah but they also all say up to so yeah well yeah flame bullet is basically the blue version of vital's aid which is neat for the you'll, uh, play, this, phase. you'll play this card in sealed because it's a negate Correct. Clash of Fates will probably also play... Clash of Fate, Bardock will probably also play this for the SR. 
for that. I mean, prop. but again, I think, I, but I think I'd generally just rather run all the other cards that restand you because you have the active battle on Shigesh as well as um, the like just the combo Torah and the combos Arvon. So fair. Uh, Riot Javelin is also a nice counter attack. This card is so cool. Negate the attack. Choose one of your one, not four. Just, just one. one. That little dot is really misplaced. Uh, cost of five or less. Ignoring barrier. Hey, you can hit that cycle. Bounce its own hand. <laughs> oh, you could? You could. You could spend two on your opponent's turn to send back a one energy cantrip? Yeah. Wow. Why doesn't that sound good? <laughs> Yeah, but hitting Why a five or less, ignoring barrier, that? pretty good. This, yeah, so this card is good, just not in that. You can hit case. that Piccolo, the rare Piccolo four drop. I can't think of big targets off my head, but there are targets. Oh, uh, Invoker Vegeta, yay! Oh darn, but uh -huh. they got a counter counter now, but they're not gonna run. Oh, it, it's only on battle card attacks. Remember? Oh, you're right. You're right. That card is really bad. That card is really, really bad. For an invoker, that's why we need a new invoker deck. But uh, off that, Riot Javelin is just really cool. Blue has kind of needed something to do with that. All that energy. I think this card is really good in um, SS3. I can see that SS3 kind of about to be on the downfall like a lot of the best decks in format just kind of trash it like uh invoker go tanks and broly just kind of run over that but other decks in the format have trouble like killing it before turn three or four and then it like plays vegeta and it draws four mm -hmm. um this card lets you just immediately have some a two energy good answer on your opponent's turn that removes something as well. So, yeah, this pretty card good stops, card. can stop two attacks. It really needs to say bottom deck, though. Yes, that there we are so many other blue bottom. cards that said bottom deck, and like I don't see we why the SR have, doesn't have it. We have to stop bouncing cards to hand. This game has like almost entirely based on when you play this card autos that we cannot bounce to hand in blue. Plus it's haste. So everything's bad. hasted. So it doesn't and matter. And everything has haste. If it if everything if we had so many sickness, neat. So maybe actually this could probably be see more play in Android twenty one because of that with the scheme. But because everything comes down with haste, playing it the next turn is not that big a deal. Yeah. Or just that turn. Oh yeah, you can just if replay it. If you're if if you're like if your opponent chooses to swing with their leader on their turn or something and you bounce the thing that's already in play and they just replay it exactly like did nothing besides maybe waste some energy it's a little tempo but it's not as big as other card games yeah uh it could it could put it could stand to like draw a card or something it just does a little bit not enough it's still good but it's like just it needed to be a little bit better whether it drew a or it bottomed the card rather than sending it back to hand. But otherwise, it's, like, fine. And in sealed, it's great. Yeah, I'm not going to argue that. That That's it's fair. Uh, Multicolor? Yep, just multi the one page. Blue, Ignore Guinea. She's the worst of the cycle we've seen so far. Moving on. I, I mean, <laughs> she lets you play defense, kind of. Play her play, to you, you play her drop for free two cards. at the end of turn. Drop, drop, drop two. Yikes. Oh, drop two? Yeah. <laughs> Not good. Um, yeah. Imparted Wishes to Tora. This card seems really good. I just don't know in practicality if it will end up being that good. The Aegis is nice. Blocker's cool. Being an... Being an ignore energy exhaust is always something to keep an eye on. Yeah, you need a blue Barak screw in play. Oh, from your energy to your hand. Yeah, oh, so you add, oh, got so it. So you add, so you block a twenty k attack, and then you add Le Bardock Legends Origin back to your hand, and then you have two blue yellows. But I think because you're bursting, 
and you're not really like that focused on multicolor, I think in actuality it doesn't really matter. So you're just gonna run Legends Origin at four and like two or three en- angel energy and just call it good. So you're all you're honestly gonna need like two yellow energy at most. Oh yeah. I was thinking the Bardock effect where he ignores energy exhaust on this guy. No, this guy's weird. He's like you have to you have to play him and then he has to die. And then you like just replace a mono blue card or the Bardock in your energy. Put it put him there. It's probably not gonna see play, but I could see why you'd include it. Um at the very least, it's a good thing to have for people who are just like building archetypes. Yeah. Um Bardock, a rival for yo. blue yellow, and a blogger. Yo. That pretty neat. Yo. Uh if you have a blue Bardock who can play and get energy shots. So this is part of I was think I was thinking about with Tora. That you have to keep an eye on that. Like there's a lot of one drop Bardock screw that you could just play that are good. I mean, what we have the new Fasha, which is great. The new both, Borgos, both Borgos and the old Borgos. Yep. And then we have the searching Fasha, I think, as well. Yeah, like. And then the free, the free blocker Guine. Is that like no, the? She's not crew. The old one. She's not crew. No, Plus, it's... to point out, this Guine right here is Broly Saga. Like, what the f? Well, because they because this Guine is specifically from the movie Movie. Bardock. Where's Guine BR as the name then, huh? 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 Because I don't think there is a regular Guine, is there? There is. She's like new? No, there is Guine from the set three. Okay, so let's look at part. Oh, there's a one drop Tora. He's he adds a Bardock crew from your drop to your hand. Oh wow! And then there's the so so you burst. Uh, two year... You and burst this the... guy, pay one, yeah, and you're ready if it doesn't die. And then there's the draw, cantrip Borgos, cantrip Borgos, tutor Fasha, um, kind of a cantrip, but it just like adds to hand planet invader, um, Tora, and then trying to look right now there's um i think uh, because it requires a a blue it requires a blue bardox crew which is kind of the problem all these cards like the blue yellow argument is really a little bit weaker because none of the yellows bardox crew stuff has anything to do with bardox crew except the one um i think it's a four ghost that searches i think it's it's borgos or shigesh um, it's Borgos because Shugesh is like a two energy dude. All right, and it's yeah, Borgos. It is, it's, it's Borgos. Um, but like, if Raider literally, if Raiders Warcry specifically Raiders Warcry said, or a Bardock's crew leader, oh, I imagine it would be so much better, but it's not. So here we are. So Bardock Legends Origin, I think. We got to keep an eye on it just because of that free energy exhaust. And we see that all that already with Android 21. How that's pretty then, good. That's really the rest good. of the card is still good. Yeah, it's that, especially you still, if you brought a crew deck. You're playing, either. you're playing the Masu super combo because it's like the best blue. It's the best super combo for blue, basically. And then you arrival for one blue. It's still a blocker. And then at the end of your turn, it stands back up. So it's a 19k that attacks and stands. And then you draw two, replacing the two cards you spent on it. And then if it stays out for even more than one turn, aped without spending any energy. Yeah, basically, I think the idea, I might be pulling grasping at straws, but the idea of high value cards, like the two drop um, Bardock and the... There was another card in blue that if your opponent doesn't deal with it, it gives you value, which is technically a way to not get attacked by their leader by their cards. Are you talking about the final spark? I think so. Yeah. It's like I mean that might be the new defense or go or like driving towards where it's more value, like yes, please give up your attacks on my leader or give me value. 
instead of resetting mm-hmm. energy. Which, if they print good cards like that, that'll probably be a fair trade off. But right now, they just don't have enough to. Right. They, it. they put the whatever before the whatever. I don't know yeah. what I'm saying. It's getting late. <laughs> um, either way, it's super cool. I'm excited um, to play around with it. Bardock's grew. Uh, Dom has played Bardock in multiple local events. Um, and honestly, anytime you just are like looking for a generic blue leader, if that le- leader doesn't come to mind, you kind of goofed up. Yeah, honestly, it, he's, it draws he's on both sides, and he's got the negate, the backside negate, yeah. and he's plus five um, on both sides when it swings. Yep, that's but, like he's neat. he's he's pretty good. So Blue I'm really Saint excited. Leader, to Gogeta, uh, Unisons, like some good stuff. There's good stuff. Oh, that, oh, that's actually a super good point. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh wait, you have a blocker. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's the same well, in rest mode. <laughs> everyone, please uh, remember to follow uh, on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube. We appreciate any help support. Um, please do be on the lookout in the next couple of days, or maybe even right as this video is getting uploaded, since it'll be slightly delayed. Uh, green and yellow will probably have been revealed by the end of the week, maybe even black if we're waiting that long. Please support your local game store, and we'll see you next time.